One question I'm often asked is in regard to importing and exporting file formats to and from Magnet Field. Now, in the work that I've done, just looking at the import and export options, Magnet Field has a ton of options for importing and exporting that go beyond just the basic import a text file or a TP3 file or a land XML. One of the ones I want to look at today is taking this file that was surveyed inside of Magnet Field using Magnet Field the way it was intended to be used. We set a code, we tell it that it's a line, and then we give each line its own identity, string number one, number two, number three, and so on. So we can see that in the coding here for edge of pavement one, edge of pavement two, and edge of pavement three. When I export that, I want that carried over. So one thing we can look at is the exchange option. We're going to export points and we're going to use the top context custom report. I'm going to adjust the code styles, and there are some that are uh, preset inside the software when it installs, but you can by any means create your own. There's a list of options to choose from, and then on the right-hand side, we can set up the order that these appear. So my code will be first, then a string, then a code separator, control code, a note separator, and a note. This is how I have mine set. We can specify what the separators are. So for example, my code separator is a period or a decimal place. My string separator is a space. I can also specify the control codes. So for example, inside of magnet field, we use AS to start an arc. I could change that to PC for the point of curvature. Same with my end of arc. AE is what we code by default, but I could change that to PT. Okay, so I can set up these control codes to match the format that I want. I can then save that and do my export. Parking lot survey, point number, northern, easting, elevation, and then the codes, my settings, and then we export. When I open the text file, I can see the results. So my EP1, there's my point of curvature, point of tangency, stop line, start line. So these now match the format that I want them for the program that I'm importing if I'm not using Magnet Office. If I'm using a Magnet Office product, I would simply bring the Magnet Field file straight over. So this looks at another of the many import export options available to users inside of Magnet Field. For more examples and more information, please go to my TopCon now and look at the content that's available for Magnet users.